Look, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't like Triple J. And I'm going to be even more honest with you. I really don't like their news programming. What is Hack supposed to be? I still can't figure it out. According to their website, it's bringing you the stories that matter to young people and that every week the Hack team cover the latest news, politics and culture from all around Australia. Hmm. If by all around Australia they mean everywhere from Ultimo to Newtown and by politics they mean sex toys and if sushi is racist, then yes. Covered. Hack. Now I know paying out Triple J is as home to me as Dr. Carl is somehow home to Triple J. But the point is that goddamn can this f***ing youth oriented radio station just die already? How is it still a thing that we have to pay for what? What? What Richard Kingsmill feels personally anxious about this week? For f sake it's called Spotify you have been aped I am sick to death of paying for bureaucrats kids to do coke in between tame songs everyone does that for free why do I have to pay you to do it look at the demo that actually listens to you it's 35 year olds thinking hey they're not playing spider bait anymore no 19 year olds listen to you it's a scam I don't even think the breakfast hosts listen to you <sighs> okay, breathe, Jimmy's, breathe. Look, I understand what it's like to pump out continual content, okay? I do understand the struggle that not everything's gonna be great, such, such as, as this video. video. So, Hack, I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt. I'm not gonna assume that you're gonna be another lame parody of Vice, talking about the psychological properties of dildos, and what ayahuasca's like, and... Okay? First story on the list, why crystal sex toys are gaining popularity. For fuck's sake, you're listening to government funded Vice. You already had SBS Vice Land. It didn't work. Stop flogging a dead horse. You can pinpoint the exact moment that Triple J started to die and it was before my time. It was when they stopped playing Silverchair 18 times a day. Breakfast, lunch and dinner, if you don't hear Make it up to you in the year 2000. We still need to be reminded of that today. Surely Y2K is gonna happen. Just a quick glance at the sh** topics that they cover. It ranges from drug-fueled hedonism to uh, I think you got the wrong program here. That was supposed to go on the project. Brizzy Olympics and pets after breakups. I mean, the ABC is just such a vital service, isn't it? Warnings on using a contraceptive pill. What, so you're just reading out the warnings on contraceptive pills? That's your contribution, is it? Seriously. I wish you were homeless. Yay, sex toys! It's just, you're listening to the decline of Western civilization, the podcast. It really gives you a highlight of who they're aiming their content at here, which is just the inner circle of the inner city. Sex and drugs on rotation. That's it. That's what all of the youth of Australia cares about. Dude, not everywhere is Newcastle. But anyway, against my better judgment, let's delve into the void that I never knew needed feeling, both figuratively and literally, shoving crystals up your ass. There is a lot on the internet that can apparently make you more spiritual, get a better body or clear your mind. I know that you're going for the alternative sound, but commercial radio has something right, okay? You could learn something from them. Uh, if you are going to be on radio, how about you not have a nervous voice? Is that possible? Can we handle that? We're 10 seconds in. This is going to be fun. The products they're selling are getting really creative and in many cases, kind of dodgy. Hello, Avani Dias here. And on this episode of Hack, we're talking about sex toys made from crystals, which is the latest fad on TikTok and Instagram. How do you say that seriously? All right, this is a serious subject on news. Mm. You know, crystals? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like a dildo now. How are you not cracking up? Your life is a joke. Experts are concerned it's leading to people believing in conspiracies. You know, I was talking to a journalist, one of the only ones that I like on Earth, and they were saying to me that the way that they keep a gauge of where the propaganda model is, they listen to hack. 
if politics has gone through that barrier of, ah, oh, my target audience is that hedonism bot from Futurama. If they can get the words Peter Dutton through that matrix, then the propaganda model has well and truly sifted through the news cycle. That's their litmus test. Isn't it perfect that this show is entitled Hack? I also have a pink quartz crystal dildo, which is a crystal that's like the self-love. On Triple J. Tell me if you know what any of these things are. God, that should be the intro to every program on Triple J. How much more accurate is that tiny 10 second clip of someone going, oh, these crystal dildos, then we, we love music. music. You don't love music. I'll tell you what you love. You love debauchery and pretending you have a soul. I've been using them for a really long time. I just discovered them from a friend. I was at her house and she had one and <laughs> that was it. I fell in love. Catherine is a sex therapist and sells crystal pleasure ones and yoni eggs through her Instagram. Wow, what a great person. She says in the past year, there's been a huge increase in people buying her products. It is so popular, it's crazy. Don't you reckon it is so popular, it's crazy means, mm, I don't technically qualify for Job Seeker anymore, but I still get it. I think a lot of people feel used by their vibrators. Like, you know, it's just like one setting. They have to hold it to their body. It's kind of over within two minutes. Whereas this allows you to engage with your body in a really intimate and mindful way. Dude, if there's one thing I'm certain of in this world, it's that women who work at Tree of Life do not need to have their thoughts broadcasted on national radio. They have enough DVDs in their shops where they just go on with this gobbledygook endlessly with this exact music. They have their own media outlet. For the love of God, show Kevin Rudd talking about the problems facing this country. And, oh, right, you can't. And the reason that you're talking about dildos at the moment is because you're funded by the Liberals. Let's be honest about what's happening here. I also have a pink quartz crystal dildo. It's like a heart opening crystal, so. Okay. Uh, look, we're gonna have to start a poll in the comments. What is more emblematic about the downturn of civilization? This specific podcast or maths? I swear to God, it's an unanswerable question, but I tell you what I do expect an answer to, whether you've subscribed or not, hmm? Just press the subscribe button is what I'm saying. Oh, cheeky, the ABC might not be able to advertise, but that just means Advantage Geordies. Go to FriendlyGeordies.com and get a Jack Lang shirt. Ow. I grew up very Christian, so I didn't have an, a great relationship with sex or with masturbation or that part of myself. Mickey's not too concerned if the crystals have healing properties or not. It's more about the spiritual journey for her. For f**k's sake, how did this go to air? Don't you think if Ida Buttrose heard even a fraction of what I just did, she'd have a heart attack and die? Let me just try and get my head around what they're trying to imprint into the youth today. Christianity is the devil. Crystal dildos are true spiritual salvation. Yeah, yeah. I think masturbating all day to try and absolve demons of your body instead of going to a soup kitchen yeah yeah, yeah that, that seems holy doesn't it yeah okay whatever floats your boat spirituality is a broad spectrum professor christina rocha is from western sydney university and studies religion and spirituality and crystals wow what an important academic you're gonna show anyone uh, some michael parenti uh, no 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 no, you're going to show the crystals expert. <laughs> you are just worth every tax penny, aren't you? She says, what we're seeing is more and more people move away from traditional religious practices and picking and choosing their own spirituality. So you pick a little bit of yoga and then you do a little bit of meditation. You practice mindfulness, but then your friend tells you something. So you go through this journey. Just need to get this on the record. This is insane. This is definitely, I can guarantee you this, having never met the guy in my entire life, not what Gough Whitlam envisioned when he set up Triple J, which used to be known as Double J. Just putting an extra J would have been too much for him. But this, fuck me dead. That death was not in relation to Gough. Just rest in peace, big fella.
you know, things like climate change, a sh** economy, a pandemic. God help you if you get your news from Hack. Their solution to a sh** economy and not having a job is witchcraft. That's their solution. Going back to Salem witch trial days and shoving a crystal up your vagina. They're never going to report on the fact that their bosses, the Liberals, that's who funds Triple J, are responsible for every last one of the problems that she just said. Instead, they have multifaceted issues. And they wonder why people say that Triple J is filled with narcissists. I used my journalistic background and training to apply some sort of vigour to what I was doing. Yeah. What then happened is it became an area where, and of course, you know, back then we were questioning big food and big pharma and big oil with legitimate concerns about who they were, they were paying. And, you know, there was incredible amounts of lobbying money that was going to the two major parties in Australia. And it was extremely <laughs> concerning and still is. Not much has changed on that front. Yeah. And now totally, it's everyone's fault except mine. Ah! Ex woke journalist turned pseudo psych crystals dildo expert thinks both parties are corrupt and both parties are exactly the same. That really should have been the heading of this story. They always have to sift that little fucking point in every time because that's the entire point of the ABC to give the natural base of the Labor Party this injected hatred of both parties. Of, They're both crap, am I right? You couldn't sum up Triple J's politics any better than that. That's the entire point of the ABC. It is there because the Liberals know that they are never going to reach that demographic. They're natural Labor voters and so to just make them despondent you just got to make sure that they're never excited about an upcoming election you can just begrudgingly vote for labor but you can't be excited about the fact that you're going to have some of the best broadband in the planet and one of the most comprehensive environmental and climate action plans all the things that she was just mentioning would be the solution but this fucking idiot is sitting there saying oh they're both exactly the same so the only solution that we have here is more sex I think there's got to be more people like me that speak out on it, um, who are brave enough to actually provide counter information. Like I mentioned before, we can't argue with facts and figures. What we do need to do is to provide a sense of community and belonging. I think the solution here is that more people should be like me because I'm a great person. Mm, I beg to differ. I would say that the solution to this problem and pretty much every other problem that humanity is facing is that... If Everybody could just look at you as an example of who not to be. The world would just be that little Lionel Hutz. We actually might have to, hopefully won't, but might have to turn this into a regular segment just because this is the mother load of bad ideas in the youth of Australia. Every time you come across some dreaded c who always says things like, oh, oh, politicians, they all fucking suck, man. Yeah, cool. Uh, what extensive political analysis have you done? Uh, I don't bathe, and that's equally liberal and Labor's fault. Speaking of, I'm going to go bathe because I feel so dirty after that. Make sure that you like, make sure that you subscribe, share this around, because I really think that people need to know this is where your tax dollars are going. Hi, sorry, mm, if I can stop you there. So there's some new studies from the Institute of Cultural Affairs who have found that contrary to common perception, soap actually creates more dirt and grime than it cleans. We called one of our own producers to find out what their take is on it. That's what they sound like. Don't you think even Waleed Ali would listen to the hosts of Hack and think, bit cunty. Please share and comment below. Command.